Well, since there is a one-year jump, what can you kind of tease about where your characters will pick up when the season starts and what they've told you so far? Right. Well, we're in a relationship. <laughs> well, you're Mike's gone. Well, she's a baddie. Uh, my, yeah, yeah. Um, well, okay, so I think this year, yes, we're, we're a year ahead. Mike and Max are very much still uh, a couple there together. Um, Mike, however, has been away for about four months, and when we start back into this new uh, first episode, we're going to have Mike coming back to see Mike, uh, Max. And, uh, and there's going to be... There's some really, really big things that are going to happen between the two of them as far as their relationship this year. Uh, one of them is going to be devastating, and I know that for sure. The other is going to be, hopefully, it's going to play out. I, don't, I can't obviously give details and stuff, but it would play out in a beautiful way, I think, if we were able to, to kind of end the season the way that they want to for these characters. So, as of now, uh, there is a lot of disaster, <laughs> devastation that's coming for the two of them. So. And, and, you know, in, in regards to Mark, he is... It's been a year later after his, the death of his brother. He's been through an incredible, uh, you know, emotional, uh, uh, you know, all the grief and all that. He's in a very, very um, different place emotionally and environmentally as well, like in kind of where he is in the world. So we meet him at the point of him kind of uh, emerging from that, you know, all the all the emotional disaster over the last year, which would be, and then we're going to play over the course of the season to see like what led up to that and um, you know what he spent his last year doing. So um, it'll be it'll be challenging in a really rich and rewarding way. <laughs> and uh, they said during the panel that Mark is going to be hiding in with that, without giving giving anything away, uh, no, not really. It's um, I really can't. It's just they're putting him in a place in the first very first episode where if someone was like if someone was trying to you know someone like Mark who's a pretty hunted you know kind of kind of on the top of the list you know for the FBI to track down you you wouldn't want to you know he wouldn't want to be caught dead there. So, um, I think, again, challenge for the writers, challenge for myself to, you know, kind of pull that off. But playing that out over the course of the season and seeing, you know, what, what his character does with that is going to be really, really fascinating. No, I can't tell you anything. Basically. <laughs> well, Mark, are you holding any grudges still a year later? And what would those oh, be? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he blaming for what happens a year later? I know the very end of last... Last season, he kind of had this idea with Luke that after Luke got killed, that you know, you know, he got a one that alternate ending actually where he killed Joe Carroll. He was like, he said, you know, he turns up and says, I got one of them, you know, I got you know, that's one of them, there's still more to go. Um, that was one of the lines, so he definitely kind of sees everyone as a target. Anyone who's not me is pretty much target. Ryan, Mac, Max, and Mike definitely, you know, killed Lily. Mike killed Lily, Max killed Luke. Uh, I think that Ryan is just kind of the, the breeder of that, all that, so you know, I'll take him out too. I think he holds grudges against all those people, and I can imagine clearing his, you know, kind of idea of making up for you know, the loss of his family would be striking these these guys off the list. Where is Max going to fit into the new uh, threat in the world? Uh, in uh, how's she going to fit into the new threat? Um, well, she's, it's, it's going to be tough because she is... Ryan and, and Mike at some point will uh, sort of be, be put to a test, okay? And Max is going to be the one that is in between the two of them. You know, she is the one that's um, also trying to figure out the psychological um, killer who's out there. She's trying to profile him with these guys. But I think uh, for her, it's it's going to be a tough one because she is going to be trying to juggle so many, so many things while also keeping her job and while you know hopefully getting to kick some butt. You know, um, but. But, uh, you know, is she going to be directly hunted? Is she going to be captured or anything like that? I don't think that this season is going to be necessarily about that. I think it is about this ominous sort of force that is coming from one, you know, specific force. But uh, with that being set over New York and us as kind of good guys or whatever sort of running um, around within it trying to figure it out, uh, it's, it's not going to be like a direct, as far as I know so far, you know. Um, but, Rather than many serial killers, and we see them already, and we know who they are. Right. We're gonna like not know. Getting back to the roots of not knowing. Yeah, yeah, anything. yeah. Yeah, but slowly piecing it together. Like I don't know if we actually said this in any of the panels. Um, 
but I, I was talking to the writers, and they said that it is going to be about finding um, things that were in the first season, or maybe things that were in the second season that you didn't see connect, that actually did connect, that now play out in the third season. That's my, that's my favorite kind of yeah, show, you know, that like really means something in the end, it like actually plays out. So.